In the station with me right now, I have three very lovely ladies who are joining us from Trinity Classical Academy. I have Wendy Macedo, Christine Bacon, and Lonnie Black. Now, these ladies are here for a very important purpose because there's... There's a thing about Trinity that they are they take very seriously, among many other things. It's college advisement, and these ladies are here to talk a little bit about college advisement at Trinity, because the graduates will be prepared intellectually, spiritually, emotionally, and relationally for what God has for them as men and women beyond Trinity. Once they get out of school, they know that there is that opportunity for higher learning, and they will be prepared. And these three ladies that are here today, again, Wendy, Macedo, Christine Bacon, Lonnie Black, all going to make sure that happens. Hello, ladies, and how are you? Good. Thank Great. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Oh, I'm super happy to have you in the studio. All right. I have some questions. You know, I, I understand that you guys are all about college planning. When exactly does that start, the college planning process at Trinity? Um, well, typically it's going to start with the ninth graders. Um, we want to make sure that they know in ninth grade that those grades from those classes go on their transcripts, which ultimately go on their college applications. So we want to start with a big picture in ninth grade, just getting them prepared, start looking at um, the bigger picture of college. So maybe not so much exact college, but do they want to be on a big campus, a small campus? Look at the, the learning environment that's best for them. That's good because if you're doing it, it's sort of the 11th hour, the anxiety of that too has to be mm -hmm. really diff for sure. diff difficult. So what is the mission of the College Advisement Program at Trinity Classical Academy? Yes, the mission of the College Advisement Program at Trinity is to help our students select and prepare for their next level Level of higher education um, and we we want them to be doing that as the men and women of virtue wisdom purpose and courage that they're graduating as our graduates will have the ability to think well read well write well and know what they believe and why they believe this. This will open up many opportunities for them, including the awarding of merit money. 100% of Trinity graduates have received academic merit money. Also, our college advisement department invests specific time in finding scholarships that meet each student's gifts and passions. Our college advisement also helps our students see the value of taking the SAT and the ACT. 100% of Trinity students take the test. Also um, exciting is 100% 100, 100 of our students have received, have been accepted to a four-year college or university where about 96% 96, 96 of our graduates have actually attended a four-year college. So that answers my so question. They're going how, there. How many they're, of your graduates have, have gone on? 100% so. have been accepted. 96% 90, have amazing. gone on. That's amazing. Now, what in your estimation is the most important aspect of college advisement? Um, well, I think the biggest aspect is finding the good a good fit and match for the student. So mm -hmm. spending the time to really um, have the students figure out what they are looking for in a college. So, you know, there's a lot of different factors and really taking the, having the student invest the time, having us invest the time to work with them to help them narrow down their list. And I think that's the biggest part. I think that's nice. But so now in the spring, mm -hmm. Trinity's going to graduate the fifth class the fifth class, and where have the previous four classes gone to college? Because, I, and, and what are this year's graduate, where, where do you think they're going to be going this year? Uh, I could speak to that for a moment. Um, our class students have gone really all across the country, from the east to the west coast, from big schools to small schools, from private to public universities. Uh, for example, in New York, we have a student currently at West Point. We have three students currently studying at King's College in the heart of New York City. Uh, we have students in Texas at SMU, at TCU, at Baylor. We have a number of students uh, in Arizona, at Arizona State, at University of Arizona, Grand Canyon, Northern and, Arizona. And that speaks to what Trinity is doing because it's not like everyone's going to the same school or the same three. They're everywhere. They are. And in California, there's a number of students studying up and down the coast from Stanford, Berkeley, three at USC, Westmont, Cal Poly Slow, Pomona, really all over the place. Now, besides excellent grades, which we all know that's pretty much part and parcel anymore of being accepted to a college, what do you think they're looking for and what do you see that they're looking for in prospective students? Mm -hmm. um, well, they're 
of course, looking for SAT scores or ACT scores. They're looking for the extracurriculars, so they want to know the student as a whole person. So they students need to be involved with their community, volunteer work, right? All of the things that make you a good person, good right. character, mm -hmm. not just right. a, the you know the good student. Yeah, so the, whole the standardized tests, you know, mm -hmm. SAT and ACT. How how much do you what role do you think that actually plays when it comes down to brass tacks and the admissions process? Well, for the majority of schools, it, it plays a pretty big role. Um, there's usually the minimum and the average of what the students are getting in with, and um, they're they're pretty high. So it's it's very important for students to really prepare and study hard for those tests. Unfortunately, so when it comes to those tests, where, how do you feel? What's the most important aspect of what you ladies and what college advisement is doing for them? And and do, is, is the testing something that you sit down with them pretty early on and go, okay, let's start looking um, mm -hmm. at that? Right. Well, the students at Trinity start in ninth grade taking the PSAT, and they take that. Um, all three years, so 9th, 10th, and 11th. And then um, we do offer the SAT prep classes for the students. Um, and, it, and it is always discussed and something that they need to be prepping and studying for. So it is. It's nice that the, the three of you, it's like the, the three magic fairies that are making sure <laughs> everyone's got this in mind. It's not just getting them out of right. school. It's it's you're working with them with an with an eye and a mind toward what happens when that last you know that graduation ceremony. Where do we go from here? And you emphasize that throughout the years that they're there. Talk to me a little bit about the new. There's I know you have a new dual credit program uh, that's currently underway at Trinity. Can you tell me a little bit about what that is? Sure. Um, dual credit in a nutshell is a program which allows students to earn college credit while in high school and for us while enrolled in their Trinity class. Classical Academy classes. So that could be really a big deal and uh, the rigor of our classes have been evaluated at the collegiate level and we've got a handful of courses that students can sign up for. And what that means is at the end upon graduation they can order a transcript for the classes they've taken that fall in this dual credit program and, and they've earned units at a college level that they can then oh. take with them to the college of their choice. It doesn't have to be a college that we currently partner with. It can be another institution and that might really give them a lot of flexibility in college if they walk in with a handful of units already. It looks good. They, yeah, it, it not only looks good in terms of the rigor of what they've been studying, but also in terms of being able to maybe double major or have the flexibility right. to major and minor study abroad, maybe do a sport in college they wouldn't have been able to do otherwise, or even really save some money financially. And it says a lot about their work mm -hmm. ethic. I think that that right there, that they were willing to put in that time and, yes. you know, that effort, I think that's really wonderful. So if you if you're uh, you have a college-bound student, and what, what are the most important things you can think of that they might want to do that freshman year, that sophomore year, and, and is there sort of a plan besides the, the studying of the, the tests and the, the considering the what type of college are there other are other things that you think are you know really critically important for them to do freshman sophomore year etc mm -hmm. um, well I think for for each of the years as we already talked about the extracurriculars so they want to make sure that on their breaks um, because their their schedules are so full that they're they not are just sitting around a pool drinking not a Trinity, that's for sure. <laughs> they are really busy so whether that's sports or music, they need to find something that they're passionate about and they need to really find those leadership roles. The, the colleges really find that important. So. And it helps them find out who they are. Mm -hmm. I think that that's a nice thing that you're doing for them too. Who are you? What do you like? What are you good at? What are mm -hmm. So that's nice that you, fo you, you encourage that and foster that in your students. It's important right. for them to keep track of it. Yes. Right, the, the key for all, all the students paperwork. keep keep right. track of everything that you've been you've because, been doing. Yeah. Right, they think you remember, but you mm -hmm. don't. Yeah, and we strongly encourage them to reach out to people that they know in their own community who might be doing a job they're interested in. Sit down with them, take them to lunch, ask them if you can job shadow for the day. You know, these are people you could get a world of experience from. And also during the summer, plug into a program that's of interest to you. Find out if that's really something you want to pursue. Mm -hmm. Very nice ladies from Trinity Classical Academy. Again, Wendy Macedo, who's the Trinity Upper School Principal, Christine Bacon, the College Advisor, and Lonnie Black, College Advisement Assistant. If you'd like to learn more, you can go to trinityclassicalacademy.com. And ladies, thank you so much for stopping by to talk to me about this today. And good luck with this next year of graduating students. Thank, thank you so much. You. Thank you.